could potentially turn their inferno around. And if I may add as well, remember that Godsent, despite having close matches versus both FaZe and Fnatic, it was always the third map of each of those series that ends up being blowouts against them. So mm. Spirit's supposed to be the closest of their contenders. We shall see. Oh, the old 99 USP dink. It's not every day we get one of those. Madden lucky oh, yeah. to be alive, but Magic sprints to the bottom of mid. He's trying to find something here, but Godsent doing a really good do job of dodging him. Stiko welcomes the peek into the boiler, and Mir should have picked that up every day of the week. But uh, 5 HP for Stiko and Madden combined. Everybody else still fine for Godsent. Magic's gonna change that fact. And Chopper now trying to throw himself amidst the team. Oh. He cuts off the bomb. Oh. oh, a second execution. And now all that's left is the little that remains of what was Madden and Stiko. Stiko 1v2 has wrapped back around Arch. He was the front runner of the apartments players. So they know he was on the A site at one point, but he also doesn't have that bomb. Doubling back from Arch and one tapping magics. It all falls onto oh Chopper. God. This is a wild pistol. Oh, Whoever he doesn't have a up. silent way. Yeah, he, he could. I mean, he could get the drop on Chopper. This might be the perfect play here by Sticko. He's done it so smart. I mean, he doesn't even take a fast step, just hoping that Magis has forfeited the site. He has time to go to B if he'd like to. He is waiting to see if a push is going to come out because he's assuming the bomb is being patrolled between, but it's not Chopper to do that. In fact, Chopper's put himself in a pretty good spot to split between B and A. He can now watch to see if the comeback occurs or Man. if it's going to be this big rotation out dude wow. the juices are Crazy. flowing oh the no big he don't. brain plays he's just gotta he have nice. to jump across he jumps across and he's got the plant if he just sticks this i mean chopper's gonna be right on him but one headshot Stiko, one headshot is what he needed but instead he is the headshot and team spirit pickup pistol dude the flex back and forth in that 1v1, I tell you. I love that. There's so much. I mean, that's exactly what I love about Counter-Strike. I mean, we all want to see the brain games going on. Stick a low HP. How does he get the bomb plant? You know, Chopper, and though. Chopper, He's a dude. That, it's, it's, it's revenge for the fact that Mir, you know, dinks someone to, 90, to, to one health at the bottom of steps. I thought that was through the floor or something. That's why I didn't kill him. It was just a pure distance that allowed that man to stay alive. And Chopper to come back and throw original work was really beautiful but uh, that should have been a round done earlier. Sticko frags. That was the only Sticko, Sticko's third sub-10 kill map of... Oh, wow. That came against... Wow, it's the only sub-10 kill map of 2020. The others came against Vitality and Astralis, and that just speaks to how good Sticko has been uh, recently. Last map, uh, quite an exception. Had a lot of struggles on the CT side to, to defend against the lower hits from Team Spirit, that's for sure. To think that the bomb carrier was the one he hit as well, right? Chopper, if he had just killed one of the three players who had moved past and bomb still able to get out apartments, then then there's no issue. Stiko has that deep position over towards Arch. Everything's fine. So as badly as it started with the 99 dink, they get it back under control. God, my heart had just reset from that second map, that, that, that whooping that goes down in the second half of Nuke. This is how we're gonna begin. And now we've got to wait for more? No, no, I want the next chapter now. Chopper's been great. Um, again, Magix is the reason they have a flawless T-side, that second half. It's all because of his entries, his clutches, his pistol round, everything. Literally every single round. Uh, he got two of the five kills in, that, in this first pistol. And there's still so much more talent here. Mir, of course, doing over 90 damage to two players to give him and grant him these assists. Unlucky. Mir did 195 damage without getting a pill, a kill on the pistol. That's a perfectly timed stat. Got the man back in. Seems like the pause has been called. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've only got four on my HUD here. One more time. One more time, admin. Yeah, nice. All right, we're all back and running. Full speed ahead. Let's go. It's the buy up, of course, from Godsent. They've got the AK for Sticko. They've got the upgraded pistols in the mix. Tons of utility as well. So uh, not too f Ooh, far off the CTs, despite losing pistol. 
They're going to start pressuring over here on the short side of A. Magic's just wanting to tuck. Do not go for the peak before the time comes, but he is going to start burning and he doesn't have any utility. It's his teammate that has to extinguish the threat. Mir trying to prime the flashbangs to peak at the perfect moment. And they yet still haven't dealt with Magic's. He is inside of the smoke. Stiko just on the other side starts to double back with bomb. I disbalance and Magic's trying to cut this off. The bomb is completely in the open all alone, and it just gets back into Boiler. And he could probably peek this for a kill. Yeah, that's a free shot off on Farley. He's low, but man, he's done well to just not move at all. It's actually granted him a strong position here for the CTs to come and help as well. Chopper has been called over. There are There's no one at B, which is hilarious. Knife him. Knife him. Oh, they're going to wait for the smoke to fade and try to clear oh, no. it, but then Magix is ready too. I cannot believe he has survived from this position for this long. I just balance on the bomb site. I'm going to start cutting down bodies. Bomb carrier dropped. Farley empty-handed. Ooh, baby. Oh, oh, oh. That three-piece from I just balance. Dude, Magix, this is trust. Okay, first of all, well, look at that again. This is, this this third is pretty sick. <laughs> it's not often you see a Thomas spray transfer. But when you do, you throw your cans in the air. The war's not over. <laughs> There's still many of rounds left here on map three, so buckle in, folks. You're going to have to wait for the, the action-packed ones, of course. Another little pistol. Eco here from Godset. Taking a bunch of damage already as Chopper confidently guns down Banana. Some die young. Grabs a headshot versus Crystal. Miss MP9 wants to be unleashed, but uh, it loses one life. Still able to recuperate very nicely. Stiko, hit him. Stiko, hit him. Ah, misses the second chance, but still a second frag for the tease. So all things considered, not half bad. But the 3-0 start for Team Spirit is there. The op is theirs. And the gun's back here for Godsend. Going to be scary for Godsend. They, they have this style. Maybe it's not so conducive to Inferno, where they love to lurk a lot on the T side. But the apartments is really the only place where you can do that and have a huge impact on the round. Um, like consistently on Inferno, you, you're gonna. There's only one choke point on Banana, so it's a lot harder. There's still lurkers, of course, on this map. But if if teams here want to seek out control, there's not going to be a lot of open avenues where the T's can split slip in. Could be some aggressive lurk spots where you, you're just happy to take a 50-50 and you'll find a fight outside of the sites. But sneaking in and shooting people in the, in the back of the head is a little bit more difficult on this map. Sticko is going to be the man to be working alone in halls. A very important name tag here for Godsend. And a significant or enough map control for a team spirit here to be comfortable where they've spotted out mid. They now push this yeah. boost in and mad in. Oh, nice clear by him. Oh, and then the chopper headshot. Well, that... That's a thing of beauty. I just balance, tries to run in, excuse me. And uh, that one doesn't work either. Chokes as much as I just did. I wonder what his name means. Like, what, it, where it came from. Uh, I mean, Maybe he, he, like, does he get vertigo? Like, I can't balance? I don't know. I feel like he was probably called disbalance as a child. And then uh, one day got an iPod. <laughs> and that's about that. I bought for Christmas. I just I used to have I used to have a an, an identity that was uh, that started with a little I. You know, I, I think I thought I thought everybody had one. Oh, because of the iPod commercials? No, no, I didn't. I used to be. Uh, go ahead. I hacks for snacks. <laughs> yeah. Was that just like very last cool, year, right? Uh, no, no, ages ago. Ages ago. Okay. You no, know, we've all gone through our different identities online. That's a cute name. Yeah, I've always gone for like the really cool names, like oh, I'm super cool, like Death Sight and. Right, right. Yeah. I yeah, know. at one point I was uh, bubonic. Yeah, bubonic. Yeah, the plague. But reality, you know, scrawny kind of fits. The only a problem. More honest. Yeah, the only problem with that quad boost, the great part about the quad boost is it's an off angle and you dodge a lot of flashes. The only problem with it in terms of pathing is that when you clear the angle, there's nothing else to watch. So there's no reason why you shouldn't look up there unless you're worried about like someone peeking oranges on you. But we, we do see it work quite often, so. For sure. It's good for normally the one and done, but it was very much predicted that round. And I still just can't believe the second headshot. I mean, that was really the, the wow factor of round four. 
but uh, it is time to see if Godsent can convert off of their first round. Looking decent enough in the last one, but uh, they find some early struggles this time around. It's not as free of a banana play. See how Godsent hate using utility? Like, I mean, they actually, sorry, I don't mean to say that like as almost a negative. They just love, they don't love getting counternated. So they always try to pull off these aggressive lurks. And again, they just have less options to do it on this map. So here they're going to walk up, and especially in the 4VX. But this is no surprise to Team Spirit. They're, they're prepped ready and ready it. on these angles, yeah. Yeah. A position like the one SDY is holding, especially with not with any utility in hand, I mean, this just screams walk into my crosshair. I think you're actually very spot on in saying that Godsent don't like getting counter-nated. A lot of the times... They are just walking in dry, looking for those straight-up duels. I mean, it's literally what worked for them on the B site last round, but uh, they call out the impatience of Team Spirit over towards A. It's a one-and-done from Stiko. Mir in the open. He's going to get tagged up by that off. The second shot gets the kill, but then it's into the scope of Idis balance for Madden. A fourth round in for Team Spirit. Right from the get-go, getting man advantage and just locking it down. Stacking the correct bomb site, forcing them away from A. You know, sure, it, it, it looks like for a moment, Stiko could have gotten both of the short A players, but ultimately it's just the one and everything goes well for Spirit. Mm -hmm. if, if they get the two, they'll have no choice but to rotate back. If only a second, Godson can delay for a few more seconds, maybe hit B again, maybe just run back to A if they'd like to. But uh, yeah, that, they, that was a asking of a lot, Stiko. And wow, that was a fantastic shot by this balance crystals out of the round. Nice and quick, some by Young. Sitting inside the boiler, could be a tricky position. Oh, Ooh. especially if you're throwing grenades. Gets slapped. Magic's gonna get the back of Farley as well. So this goes from bad to worse for Stiko. He is completely alone in this one versus five. He's got a player just out to his right, but uh, SDY kind of tucks here. Magic's takes the initiative, good damage. Stiko's still up, but not for much longer. Five, one start for Spirit. And now the T's have to calculate a buy if they even decide to go in on this. Yeah, they probably just want to buy down to 2K or whatever and just try to get a, a half eco going. Great wow. shot at the beginning of that round. Yeah, the flashbangs, like, it's such a tight timing. You know, you're expecting to jump across. If the shot's missed, maybe the trade comes in, but I just bounce is just too quick. So, Spirit, they're in full control right now. They have their hand on the clutch. And they've got... Uh, yeah, they've got a they've got a brand new pine tree air freshener in the car, and they are definitely chilling in the driver's seat, listening to tunes. Here, about to rack up some more eco kills, unless, unless Madden was blind, so he couldn't follow up on the second kill. But Crystal and Stiko sure will. That's the B site completely crumbling in the face of lesser adversity. Some die young, only good for the one and I disbalance. I mean, he has to contemplate the 1v4 retake attempt with an op. Dude, God sent doing it dirty with the deagles on banana. This is awesome because you know what? It was starting to look like the T side of Team Spirit on Nuke. That second half where we saw God sent get nothing. You know, a complete mm -hmm. and total shutdown. Well, this is great for them. Not only starting to bounce back an economy, but doing so off of a free round with pistols. This is huge. This is a pivot point. This could be godsend right back in the game. They make their bed here, pushing up, but we know that any team is, is susceptible to this. They have the three players set up on the, from the CT side. One 1D one can can take apart the setup completely. You don't know what kind of impact that player would have had if, it, if the first shot doesn't go in. And that's pretty much the nature of these eco rounds on Banana. It's a gambit that Godsense are willing to sign up for, of course, having only uh, invested half their money. Chopper is still aggressive. No Molly to catch him on the fallback and a free Falmus kill onto Madden. Not aware of the potential of that angle. And also unable to be traded as the smokes completely blocked off everything else. Well, that's a free kill. And we've seen Farley and how comfortable he is. He might have been strafing out to peek into uh, coffins. We've seen how far out he goes sometimes on the dry peak. Smoke over towards coffins. 
Chopper still has vision over CT spawn and disbalance his first point of contact, but he is burned into the open. Mir cheats one off of the side of the smoke, and that activates Zen, who haphazardly jumps into the line of sight of Chopper. So Team Spirit back under control, and that's huge because what I just said about the T-side economy getting going comes at the cost of the defense. They bottomed out their bank accounts to get in this buy. They wow, had to pick it up. Indeed. It's kind of curious how much can be seen from the sandbags over that half wall. It's not always that you see that interaction, though, from the sandbags to a half wall boost. But uh, cool to know that sandbags has a pretty significant advantage if he stays tucked into the wall. Eye balance, eyes down mid, couple up alts. T's aren't putting a ton of pressure on him at the moment. Some safe uh, banana nades being thrown. I think it's unclear exactly uh, what kind of buy Godsent have if you're Spirit, because I know there was that half up half force that allowed them to win around but if you're looking at godsend they have done well to save this much money for ak's off lots of grenades left over but it's kind of a standard state of affairs for a team spirit hanging on to the utility a constant in their t sides at times little smoke over the uh, rooftop of the B-bomb site. That elicits a reaction as well from Spirit. So they're burning utility and keeping two players stuck at B. Meanwhile, three on A. Godsend. Sniffing it out. Team Spirit, they cheat that rotate over towards B. Farley getting his money's worth with his presence. Oh, he's baiting their attention, but they get the kill and they don't see anybody else. Some guy young turns. Oh my God, Crystal just jumps right past him. Madden able to pick up the pieces and disbalance. He's stuck behind the boxes. Down he goes. The A site fumbles, but Stiko unable to keep them off of the arch. So even with Madden's two frags, bomb yet to be planted. That is what comes up next. Two CTs on short, about to be three. They've moved along from Arch, and this is going to activate the op. Madden, he could just straight up ace them. He's going to get the audio that they're coming in from short. Has the teammate on site trying to give cover, but Crystal is very wary. The MP9 just jumps down onto Madden. Now Crystal in with two health versus five of Chopper, and just one bullet's needed. Godsend picking up their third, keeping this one at half the score of Spirit. Whoa, man, their, their cards are definitely stacked against him at this point. As Sunday Young blows his spot by shooting at the first player, jumping into falls. He should have left that one for the off, could have potentially got the second. Instead, shoots early, dies, and then Crystal 1v2, low HP. I actually love how Chopper jumped on the op and hit with the MP9, playing it carefully, knowing the crossfire was there, but then just testing it. And uh, that was pretty much the only way they could have neutralized Madden made it a winnable situation. I'm actually shocked that Godsend managed to win that round, especially after Sticko whiffed in uh, the CT player. But the early rotation, I guess, is what brought it back. But it was 5v4 there, even killing Farley to start things off. Posturing yet again towards Banana. Limited tools, of course, for Spirit. This is it. We knew that like, the, the economy hinged on just a couple rounds, and now Godsend have a very good job, a very good chance, excuse me, of busting this one open. I mean, you see what the advantage they have now is. Imagine the follow-up when they're, they're shooting for their fifth round, for their sixth round. But uh, it's not a write-off, because the Mag-7 finds the solo off, or excuse me, apps lurk. Mir, double deagle headshot. Disbalance comes in with one as well. I mean, they just feed themselves. They just walk into the meat grinder on mid and the shotguns get two frags amidst it all. Team Spirit back against the wall. They take the initiative. They make the first move and they get the payoff. Yeah, it, before this setup took place, it was the Max 7 to be in lane with them and then just decided to walk into Boiler. Sticko's been holes every single round. He says, maybe if I get this kill, you know, things change. And he finds Sticko right away. And that's scary for Godson because that was their only control of the perimeter. Nice flash here on the banana. Player spotted at the bottom of it all. And Mir is happy to have this open line of sight to take this fight. This is where he thrives. Bomb spotted crossing mid. And it's just the pistols. That's that's really rough, but you know, Godsend kind of did them dirty, just like they just did them dirty on that round. All and dying. Mir is looking to go ahead and ace this. My good, you better give it to him. 
Madden's trying to get away from it all. But uh, yeah, this one was just iced out. Team Spirit, I think, understanding the advantage they just created after getting away with the round they shouldn't have won. Aha, and it's flawless. All five players standing up for Team Spirit. That's great for them because we've seen not just one, but a couple of rounds hinging their economy on a thread. Mir, one tap and everybody here at the bottom of middle. So moving through without losses is huge. Five round lead for Team Spirit, a CT side that's starting to really get away from Godsent. They've got to be careful. They've got to close this with at least a couple. They cannot get locked out like they did on Nuke. Yeah, still a lot to be desired about their T-side so far, so... Wouldn't be surprised Ooh, if this gets yeah. worse, but it's another great kill by Madden to start things off at the top of Banana. Team Spirit have not been shy on this part of the map, but haven't been aware of all the different fights that can occur. Close wall, flash coming over, pushes out, and Crystal, he was playing anti. <gasps> Whoa, but all the bodies starting to rack up here. Magic's in with a bunch of damage, and it all boils down to this. The one versus two. Zen, lucky to be alive. Farley, 73 HP with bomb on his back. Some die Young's gonna barrel up Banana. By the time he gets there, the Molly's gonna have burned itself out. Now, there's a chance that he actually wrapped back through construction, and with the smoke grenades on both sides of that, well... T's don't know, so they just try to double up. Playing inside of Emo, both of these terrorists just giving up all the map control, all of the bomb site for some die young. He's going to be asking himself so many questions because he's not going to find either of them until he finds both. Now, he could just spray them down, but oh, Zen, one bullet between the eyes takes Godsend into their fourth round at the least, and they would love to use this one to finish the half convincingly. A big blast versus Mir. He jumps up. Beauty, beauty of a shot from Madden to get that one unraveled. Yeah, really well done for Madden, trading out favorably on the on the B. And that's, yeah, I guess one of their better ways that they can win is, is taking these fights early on Banana since they're going to be in the most predictable positions. Ida's balance going for this peak again into alt. Risks dying if anybody swings. He's actually hanging out here for quite a while. He's holding on to this with support, but this only tells Team Spirit a lot about what could be going on on Banana. Blinded his mirror. Pushed off his mirror. Oh, they're in the sight. Yeah, Crystal just goes flying through. I mean, you can see all the Molotovs clearing out the corners as well. The map just engulfed in flames. Mir, ambitious wall bang to the top of the boxes on site, but uh, they're not letting these terrorists get comfortable. Despite them having the bomb down here in the 13th round, may not be an easy hold. There's the double incendiary for Team Spirit, one of which should be thrown out soon, but uh, they're waiting for the smokes to burn first. You know, you want to see those terrorists flooding from their position. Good taps from Madden right through the side of the smoke. He goes again, and this time it's even better. Some die young, dies to the one tap. Chopper in for the spray with a double. It all falls onto Mir, and he is tucked back with no time to defuse, just looking for the exits, looking to add to the pain and the cost. And the bomb's going to drop him. That's a fifth for Godsent, keeping this one alive at the end of their T side. Oh, Madden legit wins it. Team Spirit had so much utility left over as you drew and as you drew up. And then uh, Godsend had none, so they had to push. They had weak guns as well. And Madden just just these careful taps through the smoke along this line that you knew Team Spirit had to push up. One of two angles that they had to work with since they didn't have that banana presence. Well done by Madden once again. You know, he's won rounds for them, whether it's getting that early kill on banana to this post plant situation where he brings it. Uh, brings it home in the late of the late round and yeah uh godson's economy back on their feet it's been such a back and forth affair it's really the liabilities on the b site that are sticking out like a sore thumb for team spirit crystal inspired by madden's shenanigans trying to do the same thing over here at the b site and oh chopper keep that head down whoa, whoa. takes one to the shoulder Gonna have to tuck back for a moment here, but I mean, uh, listen, we've seen Team Spirit win these sorts of rounds only when they caught a bunch of T's at the top of mid. This is not gonna be the case. Chopper, I'm sorry, you are doomed. They go ahead and move past, again, using all the 
utility that they can, and you'd love to see that, you know, being thorough and respecting team spirit, ensuring that there is no five-man stack on that bomb site. It's not like they felt out the A side of the map to be insured when they moved in. So it's all good in the hood yeah. for Godsend. They should be, Spirit should be going for these kills. I mean, giving up money to Godsend right now doesn't matter. Moving into the last round, and they could potentially make the buy a lot worse for Godsend if they attempted them. But saving this, I mean, they're saving two P250s, or sorry, a Deagle and a P250. So a bit strange. If all, oh, wow, the triple boost. <laughs> Can't say I've ever seen this one. I don't think I've seen that one, yeah. What are they leaning on? Because, you know, you'd have to slide. Get close leaning up. on one another, like all good friends. On the top, Indian someone has to be time. leaning on a piece of uh, the wall or something. It's weird. All Probably right, last round. Large. Yeah, last yeah. round. Great comeback here by Godsend off of these, off of this heavy pressure on Banana. Mids locked down in the early rounds. I just balance. He's getting more and more comfortable peeking down, sticking around, holding down alt. But Godsend, I mean, their plan going out to B makes the most sense straight off the bat. Oh, so now they bring out the heavy guns. And now they pull them back. Don't want to offer over the opening. Team Spirit had a chance at a more convincing CT side. It's still all right. 9-6. Could justify a sigh of relief. Utility being exchanged. Heat moving forward. And just like the last round where they actually moved in versus just the single pistol, they're not finding anything over towards the A site, these CTs. Team Spirit have heard not a word, not a rustle, not a peep. Not a Hugo. Oh my god, Chopper. Dangerous game to play, my friend. But he tucks back into the bomb site. I disbalance. Should have just seen the first person cross. And a dangerous peek out. Could have cost him as he extended outwards. Now he is going to have that sliver of a column for cover. Crystal to the top side of the oranges. Him and Stiko making the difference here. Clearing out that back bomb site, giving them a chance to find a seventh round. Rotate already over. Everybody coming in from CT spawn. Mir bouncing nades off of the walls. But nobody stops that bomb plant. Double off in the post for the hold for Godsend. Very much keeping these CTs at bay. The flashbang is great. Crystal is gonna have to let them pass and then the frag just dunks him down. Stiko and Farley now, two versus three, cutting off the bodies as they charge in from CT and Stiko now has to finish this on his own. Magix walks right in and- Last map, last match, last half of the European Masters. It's upon us, and I love the fact that Godsent made it as close as could be as we turned over. They have fumbled multiple series, but this is the one that matters. This is the one that keeps them in the tournament and sends Fnatic home. Can they do it? Can they finally win the third map in a series? They're 0-2 for it so far. The team Spirit do not look invincible by any means of imagination. Mir, Great first performance. He is 15 and 8 after the first half. Could be the difference maker as Team Spirit seem to set their eyes on the A bomb site. All five of them heading forward. They've got those smokes already down, so it's going to be a difficult hold for Godsend. Mir getting the first, getting the second off of the flashbangs from Idis Balance. The bomb plant is going to come through, and this is going to be a real rough retake for Godsend. Yeah, it's, it's quiet as they reassess. Mm -hmm. Then go back out, to. making sure no one's pushed. Yeah, two flashes to Crystal, so they have a plan. Where do they drop though? Matt is now pushing in. He's got some info. It's gonna help, you know, figure out where a couple of these T's are before you decide to throw the flash bangers. Chopper, his vision's not disrupted in any way. Crystal, one headshot, that's it. That's all they find on the retake. Team Spirit, they finish the first half with a one round edge, and they'll start the second half with a pistol round win. What could that have possibly flashed to not flash pit? That's what I wonder. Like he threw yeah. it generally in that direction, and I'm shocked. I didn't even see half of uh, half of chopper blind at all. So uh, either way, your spirit. I really love the pistol. It's super simple. It's it's kind of low maintenance. They have the the smoke that lands in the sight to deny pit pit vision, but allows you to wrap around it, so it keeps the pit player scared. Plus, it, it gets them onto the bomb site. They have to split the crossfire angle between the balcony, but then they have the moto smoke on top of it for rotators. So I, I love how many options it covered for how cheap it was. The frugal execute. 
Cash efficient. God sent. Thrifty. Cash to the wayside. Gonna go ahead and buy up everything. So many deagles in play. And we've seen great things from these sorts of rounds from God sent. So no reason to believe this can't happen. Ooh, but reasons to believe it won't. Already the fact that they've got three deaths stacked up. Oh, excuse me, just two. Zen is still alive. Just barely. barely. Hard to notice. Hard to think he'll find much. He does cross paths with some die young. That grenade! Oh my goodness! And the follow-up damage here from Crystal. Oh my god, Zen and Crystal combining on Arch side. Some die young who moved past the CTs now comes back to what is a calamity on Arch. Look at the bodies, his comrades in pieces, and they fail. God sent thanks to Crystal. Rob it with just those deagles. Yo, major moves by Crystal to drop this grenade on them. Low Damn. HP wrapping Arch. Yeah, they could have gone either way. And it's also his tag that assists himself in getting this. Plus, they have the rotation come in, the gamble up into CT spawn to draw, oh. to draw it back. And of course, Farley hits that one deke to close it out. Oh, well, that was a cacophony of issues. Hello, Godsend. That throws everything up in the air. Just like the first half, anybody's map, anybody's game round by round, it seems. Yeah, I think Godsense, honestly, it didn't look as good as, as as Spirit in the first half, but they entried so well. But now the pressure's off on the T side. They did enough. They've got a CT side to look forward to. They have the talent to work with. You'd assume it's going to be easier. But we also know that Spirit are quite good on T side. See if they can recover. They've taken a lot of damage already, so it's not going to be good for them. I disbalance, whips back. Madden trying to play for the M4, gets his hands on it. And there's a lot of players trying to chase him down, but they don't want to hyperextend into a mistake. All it takes is one unchecked corner, one big mow down from an M4, and what's left of these feeble T's is just so quickly washed away, not to mention the investments that they've come in with. 40 seconds remain. They seem wary that the B push has come down. Zed's crack spotting. This could draw a rotation back just by showing bomb or presence. Flash, maybe as well. Yeah, that pulls a rotation, so it eases thing up, things up a bit. Moto smoke comes down. Looks like a uh, lane crunch. Oh, oh, that helps. Just cracking open the pit. It's crystal at bat yet again, but he can't manage it. The last two CTs trying to come over for the retake. Seems like Godsent may have fallen victim to their own plays. Yep, they call it off. Team Spirit, thanks to Ida's balance, just ripping the head off of the pit player. I mean, you saw how very quickly they went from being extremely cautious on mid to just charging headstrong into that A site. Crystal tried his damnedest to even just survive, look to soften up some bodies, and he did that. Look at the health that's left for Team Spirit. It doesn't matter what it is because it's enough. They're going to find themselves on double digits and right back in control. That's what can happen when you don't wait for the crossfire to, to win the round for you. If you want to peek all the way down lane, it's hard to blame him because it's not like he was disfavored in that situation. Two so died of the bomb from, from Team Spirit, uh, but they win the round. They don't give up the money on the excuse, and that's a fantastic first shot as well. I mean, it's just an incredible round here from Nidus Balance, but they Team Spirit really squeeze water from stone and pull off something magical with just a single smoke on moto that's a rough one after compromising the second round yeah it happens to godsend as well they invest far farley kind of half invest like his teammates have bought down but he's maintaining for the op in the future so they're just giving himself a good chance to win this round while still keeping their options open later on there was that scary bit of timing. They decided to, to calculate this, but not with the tactical timeout. So um, they were a little later to spawn. Imagine a world where Team Spirit decide to get aggressive this round. It, it, you know, it doesn't happen often that you get those stutter steps out of spawn, but this could have been one of them. Regardless of where they started, now it's happening. Over on the B-bomb site, we've got Team Spirit buying control of Banana. Zen's gonna try to spam through smoke. He catches I disbalance on top of Sandbags. That's a big pickup. Zen, no doubt struggling on this map, both him and Farley, with less frags than we've come to expect from these players. Now is not the time to fall silent on the scoreboard. This Frontside map matters. 
course. The front side smokes. And it holds the CT's attention. Oh, we're gonna sneeze. Don't worry, I got you. Flashbang goes over top of the pit. Crystal's playing with his grenades, puts the smoke up close. Damn, man, he's just playing with his utility and he puts himself right into the open. Loses his head for it. Stiko's gonna play inside of the smoke, but the longer Team Spirit wait this out, the more likely that he can surprise them. He is gonna be able to find Chopper mid-air. It's tough though, a little bit more damage. And now can Zen swing out on this? They expect somebody to be coming from the B site. It's covered, it's cleared. Mere 21 frags, 10 deaths, gets it in. Team Spirit in 11th, a three round advantage and still economic issues here for Godsend. Love how Magix plays this, it just holding over top of his smoke that lands front sight, you know, playing off of their smoke, both defensively and aggressively, cutting off an angle from the CTs, granting a new one to the Ts. Spirit up three rounds. Sticko on the Zeus, going to try to land a, a cheeky frag, and we'll see where it is in the halls, it looks like. But Team Spirit have set their sights on towards Banana, and they've cleared things out quite quickly. So imagine they come and collect the bomb. But you know what? Team Spirit, they like dying a lot on these eco rounds and making it scary. Oh, some guy young, a man of class, uh, Le Pipi Bison, is in the server. Always a, a treat nowadays. I guess it is viable versus unarmored players, that massive magazine. But uh, hey, the USP is better than it still. At least it seems so in the hands of Farley. He dies very quickly thereafter. The Mac 10 blasting him back. Team Spirit, four round lead. Three pauses left for Godsend, but they're going to call attack timeout and try to figure this out. It's going to be a bit scary if Team Spirit can continue to open up Banana. In Zen, in the brain. In, in Zen. In Zen, in, in the brain? In Zen, in the Bahrain. Uh, in Zen, in the brain, the only ace on Inferno in the EU Masters 2020 so far came from Zen versus Fnatic. Okay, I don't think I, I have a dog memory, so it, you know I could have I could have watched it and, and forgot, but I, I can't recall it exactly. I'll have to go back and look. There was the other round, the uh, Alu 1v5 round that I totally forgot about that I had to go and look at. That was a pretty pretty amazing 1v5 on Dust 2. It was also brought up by Young Elliot. Harley's posted. Molotovs go deep. Not gonna move any feet. The CTs hold strong. They do have three, boy three bodies over here from the get-go. And it looks like they're going to aggress. Chopper's ready to meet them. Flashes go high. Chopper and Mir both getting the best of the CTs. Both teams going for the same play, but Zen triggered discipline. And he can't maintain the spray down for that second frag. So he's traded out. And this is immediately going to be the save call from Crystal and Stiko. They've just got to give this one up. But I mean, damn, man. This one comes down to a hair. I mean, we can all imagine a world where the CTs make their move a moment sooner. And it's Team Spirit that looks so foolish but the terrorists get the best of the timing. They get those instantaneous headshots. I disbalance with the double flash assist and team spirit finding 13 rounds as this T side looks hot and heavy handed. One thing I hate is when a team takes too long to make a decision that waiting grants you nothing, you know, and they just, they just do it so quickly. They set up after the, I actually thought, you know, Godsend set up quite quickly too for the flashes. But Spirit, I mean, they wasted absolutely no time after the Molotovs went up. They are ready to try to execute. And this is not a bad position so far, though, for God's sake. A lot of kills off of Crystal's hold here in the in the exits. And it's definitely a worthwhile stop. And yet, yeah, dodging the flash, That's it's rough. Here. But, like, dude, imagine being God's sake going, are you serious? They already set up, you know, because they're thinking they're going to clear out angles slowly. They have a second, they don't want to do it too soon, and then as soon as Godsend do it, it's like Team Spirit one step ahead. But it is a matter of timing. You're really splitting hairs. And on I think both Team ways. Spirit stick to that fast timing because they got banana also very quickly. You know, it's mm. not as though it was a labored clearing and then they decide to just pick up the tempo out of nowhere. They were in banana quick, they were in the B site quick, and nobody could stop them but Crystal, the one AK just trying to hide behind the wood. Now Chopper's gonna walk right into the crosshair. Crystal, good for the two kills. He knows that Mir's pinned in close. There's another at the distance, and Crystal's even got that third one. A huge individual play from Crystal, made even better by Zen. One survivor from Godsent, and it works 
out. They are not done here on Inferno. Yo, it's sick to see Crystal playing so well, man. Individually, he's been lighting it up. That spot, it seemed like a gimmick spot. Maybe only get one kill and then get spammed down behind the wood. But then the target selection to kill the guy back in spawn, his teammate comes out as well to help him out. It was just beautiful. Working in tandem to open things up. Magix has a full nade kit. He's got a good amount of time. He's got two players on pistols. He's got the bomb. His last position was unknown. There's only one person inside the B site. It's a list of positives here in the potential for a 1v3. But he could get killed by anyone as well. That's a very depressed angle in the spawn and no smoke to come out in a C. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh in the whoa, headshot. what a shot by Zen. That Coming was alive. by Magic, so. In order to tuck back? Oh, you mean sprinting they over? Yeah, yeah, not. sprinting over. Yep. No, yep. He, he shows in the barrel from Farley. Yeah. Look at that, dude. The two piece, the reaction to the player posted down ramp. You know, some die young is upset about that one. Team Spirit gonna lose the round, and Godsent immediately bounce back with another pause. Right in the childhood. Magix is younger than all four Tony Hawk's pro skater games. Hmm. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, he's he is uh how old is he? Magic's, I believe, 16. 16. Wow, I was up to no good at 16. Starting to find my way. Got a new job. We started the mall today. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Just making sure we both watched it. Yes. Boris Vorobiev, 16 years old. Magic's currently playing for Team Spirit. Current... Ooh, current rating on HLTV of 1.07. His 100th map played. And he's been a focal point of this series, especially on Nuke. In this map, he's doing fantastic as well. Mir is up to 26 kills already. We've seen some of his beastly entries into B. This time, it's a, it's a mid-ting. Farley. They'll be happy to see some attention coming his way. Smoke actually pushes them back around. Maybe wants to take care of Halls to allow Sticko to try to fight. And oh no, don't know if Pit was spotted. Wow, these smokes. Does that Dude. even favor Crystal? It drops in, in front of him, but allows the player to cross. So weird. All the while, Sticko, he's just trying to find something to shoot at. I mean, they know he's here. He knows they're there. But there's nothing he can seem to do about it. And he's lost his two closest teammates. So he's calling for someone to bail him out. And Madden tries his damnedest. But now a two versus four. You can already see Madden, just re he's on the retreat. God sent, they have to forfeit 14. They've got to give this one to Spirit and hope that they can use these guns to follow back up in the next. But damn, man, those smokes inside of the site. I thought Crystal could have come up big. We've seen huge holds from him in those sorts of moments. But Stiko was completely nullified by the smoke. Crystal was just bombarded by stimulus. I mean, the guy could hear footsteps all around him, smokes in his face, flashbangs popping off. Imagine the calls layered on top of it. It was a tough hold, and it all fell short. Team Spirit, 14. God sent, 9. But they can still afford to buy around this AK. It's a very awkward situation. Again, Spirit Smokes on the A side have been great. Like, love how they're using them to, to isolate the pit player from the crossfire, but also keep pit in danger. But Crystal drops his own smoke in front of the box, and it, it's weird because from our perspective, we see it, the, the fight would have been easier if he didn't drop the smoke, but he probably, again, didn't think Spirit would move so quickly. I think that's one of the best things about Spirit so far, is that they absolutely have zero hesitation on the T side. Um, but look, we've got that uh, a, a mirrored image from the CTs here as they've got the first two kills and Sticko has much map control. Bottom of mid, teammates on both sides of him. He may want to stick around. He doesn't really have a way to fall back easily, so he might have to stick around. And this is a great way to approach this. Godset pushing down Banana, allowing him to move, smoking behind him. Shoehorning Team Spirit into a site exec without them realizing it. There's a world where he even finds Ida's balance with his back turn. That's the bomb carrier who just got around the corner. Ah, oh, and Magic what? doubles back, oh. but Stiko's already passed. Oh, man. I mean, Stiko, there, there's still a world where lose, he finds though. this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just he's going to get closer and closer, and then he's really going to shoehorn him in. Whoa, a oh, whoa. 
It's okay, there we go. He's got it, but some die young, a double entry. So while he's distracted on the back line, the bomb carrier actually has a chance to work up towards the balcony. Stiko knows that he just has to hold this. All right, he kind of screwed up his big round winning play, but he can still come back into this with fruition. It's just a matter of finding timing. So give them the bomb plant and play the man advantage in your retake attempt. There is, though, good utility for Spirit to try and hold this off. Imagine a Molotov going down over towards that smoke that cuts off two of the three CTs. Then suddenly Stiko has a really hard job of exiting with nothing to help him from the balk. But I disbalance. He's going to go ahead and cut down the first player. Some die young's looking to give cover, but now he has to win out in this clutch. The second CT crosses over to the bomb site itself. Some die young's got a man above, plucked from the sky, looking for the last that he takes. It. Team Spirit, 15 6 match points. Beautiful movement by Sum Dae Young in the pit, repositioning himself, dropping, working with the Molotov, the nade to help him force the balcony players to have a gap in the information. Entry here, and man, this was around that. No, no way, Team Spirit win. You know, Sicko on that big flank, information alone. They like screw the fact that Sicko messed the spray up. He still stayed alive. He still got the kill and he was still on the big flank. They had so much information. It's the rest of his teammates that don't hold the site that you have to wonder how does that happen when they're so ready. How? Again, like, it was Team Spirit had no idea the amount of map control that Godsend had and still won. Ooh, what a chance. There's a double op setup, a double glass cannon being utilized here by Godsend and it works for the first pick, but I disbalance with a guardian angel somehow keeps himself alive. He bests Stiko in the op fight. That's one of the three weapons. And that third's just the MP9. The pistol players have some utility between them. That kit on Zen could also come in crucial. But Team Spirit, they don't have to force the issue here. They still have their grenades. They still have the advantage. Yeah, they've got uh, Crystal Zen on these pistols. It's hard for them to get the information necessary. So Team Spirit, in order to press the advantage of their win, they, I mean, they have to throw, all they have to do is throw a small fake, really. And the CTs will bite on it, no problem. Arch is wide open. Magis, Magix is doing this. And they won't be in a position to catch rotators. No one's really around. But uh, Farley's not in a great spot. He's got a teammate on They're default watching this, but it's an emergency position, really. Just playing out the time. I mean, there's 10 seconds, but Farley, ah, oh, he fires off on the op. Now that is gonna give away the bomb plant. Rotator's immediately running in, and some die young pins Madden against the arch wall.